Welcome to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this video or like this watch and want to buy it, simply click on the link in the description below and you can buy it at the lowest price anywhere online. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Panerai Submersible GMT Navy Seals reference PAM01323. I'm going to talk to you about the case, bezel, dial, bracelet, movement, try it on and give you my thoughts. This watch is from the submersible family of Panerai. Panerai makes four different kind of main uh, groups of watches. They call it the submersible, which is what you see in front of you. It's a dive watch with this um, rotatable bezel that allows you to track how much time has elapsed. They also make the Luminor. Uh, they make the Luminor Do and the Radio Mirror. Uh, Penrai has this very distinct crown guard here that you see, which is which is you see it on uh, their four, their three of the four main collections that they have. This crown guard, it's a rec very distinctive Panerai with this crown guard, and the submersible of course has it. Now the submersible line originally came out with a Pam twenty four, I believe, which is the most basic submersible, and maybe ten years ago or so or maybe longer by now. And it was just very basic and, and Panerai has expanded on that line and done a lot of very, very cool variations, Carbotech, gold, bronze. And now they're doing the a Navy Seals special edition. What makes this one special is what we're gonna go through right now. One of which is there's only 500 units of it made. So you're probably not gonna see another person wearing the same version of this. Now they do make a Navy SEALs version that's also in carbon. This one happens to be in uh, stainless steel. So at uh, 316L uh, stainless steel to be exact. And let's talk about it a bit. It's 44 millimeters. That's my thumb to my index finger going from the four o'clock to two o'clock. It's 44 millimeters, which is pretty large for a watch. They, uh, Panerai also makes up to 47 millimeters and they make it as small as 42 millimeters for some of their other submersibles. They don't make a lot in 42 millimeters. The bronze Panerai comes to mind, which is all blue and it is 42 millimeters. So let's say you're a smaller guy. When And when I mean small, I mean like, let's say you're 170 pounds or smaller then a 42 might work for you. If you're 170 pounds or bigger, this 44 should work just fine for you. Now, of course you can wear it smaller, but you, you know, anyways, so that's 44 millimeters, uh, diameter and it uses 316 L brushed steel. And that just means that the steel is very good. There's also a 904 L steel, which, was what Rolex uses. It's an even harder steel. This is a little bit softer than that, uh, but nevertheless, it's still very high quality uh, steel. And let's talk about the dial because I think the dial is quite interesting. It's an anthracite dial with luminous hour markers and dots with a date at the three o'clock and small seconds at the nine o'clock. Okay, let's digest that a little. You see the date on the right hand side it's very nice it does not have a cyclops and cyclops mean magnifying probably be, uh, having to do with actually Panerai doesn't use cyclops uh so i take that back but what do i like about it i like that it has this orange accent they're keeping it uh continuous with accents of this of orange on the minute hand hour hand uh and this um I, I think that looks pretty cool. And the GMT head, the, the GMT head is this long arrow right here with the um, uh, orange arrow tip. And the hour and minute hands are obviously, as you see, the short hand being the hour and long hand being the minute. And those are all in orange. Gives it a nice, very cool accent. And you can also see the seconds on the right. And if you notice, it has a bullseye. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. A bullseye at the... Um, you know, and they be Navy SEALs, right? 
And actually, let me show you what it looks like when you uh, do it in the dark. And what you see, if I shine this light at it, what is very cool is that you'll notice Panerai did very, paid very good attention to this. They put all the hour markers in green and they put the hour hand in green and the minute hand in blue because sometimes you can't tell which one's which, right? So they put the minute hand in blue. I think more companies should do that. That's a great idea. Put the minute in one color, put the hour in another. That way it's very easy to read. That way you don't flip it around, right? You don't want to get the hour and minutes mixed up. And especially, uh, presumably, people could be wearing this at night and doing you know night activities. They would need to see the time at night. And you don't want to get that mixed up, right? So that's what this could be for. And you see here at the the bezel, the bezel also is in blue. So you can, that's pretty cool. What you would do if you want to check elapsed time is simply take the blue dot and line it up with the other blue dot. Pretty smart, I would think, right? And you can see the GMT head is in this green, which is also pretty cool because, uh, you know, that that is the hour. So it matches. The hours are green and the minutes are blue. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. All right. So I've talked to you guys about uh, the dial. And of course, it has this anthracite dial. And actually, I, I should also say anthracite or gray. What you'll notice here, if you notice, look at it, is that it's light gray in the center and it starts to get darker at the edges. That's a very nice touch. I don't know how hard that is to do, but it is a very nice touch. You don't see it on a, a lot of watches. And this is one of them that has it. It's probably another reason why it's uh, limited and, and kind of special. It has these accents and, you know, it's uh, it just gives it some kind of something special, something different. Okay. And the GMT, I should also say, the GMT hand that you're looking at here, by the way, when it goes around, it takes 12 hours to go around. So, for you know, 12 hours to go around, all right? Not 24 hours to go around. So in every 12-hour cycle, it, it circles and returns a 12 one time every 12 hours. Okay, now we've talked about pretty much uh, the case, the dial. I've talked to you about the bezel. Not too much, though. It, it does turn, as I just told you. That's uh, anti-clockwise. It only turns one direction. It's unidirectional, not both. That helps you not uh, subtract time. You can only add time when you when you are checking time. That way, in case you're diving, you don't accidentally think you have more time than you do. Okay, now let's talk about the movement here. The movement is going to be the in-house caliber 900. It is it has a power reserve of three days, which is uh, if you don't know, that's that's pretty high, and it has 171 components. So having a 72-hour power reserve is pretty darn good. Okay, uh, okay. Now let's talk about the case back. Now, I you know I'm not sure if I would the case back as you can see here. Obviously, is a closed case back. You cannot see the other side, the movement of it. And some people like to see it. Some people don't. Some people don't care. And what I can say about it is. Well, since this watch is a Navy SEALs watch, it, it kind of makes sense to keep it covered. I'm not sure like you would be really looking at it. I mean, presumably this is supposed to be a, a kind of a rugged watch, right? Um, and you kind of can't write anything on the watch if you don't, if you have an exhibition case back, right? In, if you're able to have an exhibition case back, uh, or sorry, a closed case back, then you can write things on it, which is what you see that they've done. They write these cool, you know, logo here. They write the word Navy SEALs. You know, they write some cool things on it, which, you know, is pretty cool considering it's a limited edition. So I actually would say in this situation, it's it's cooler to see Panerai do something special on the case back as opposed to just keep it open, which would just look like every other watch. And so this being kind of a, a rugged watch, you know, it's kind of cool that it has this Navy SEALs logo and stuff all over the back it just looks quite nice okay and uh you gotta also think this is pretty cool considering this is a uh panerai is an it is uh supposed to have italian heritage but navy seals is american right so that means that panerai an italian company has released it's actually a swiss company but um they've released a watch for america that's targeting those that are either are Navy SEALs or like the idea of having a watch that's based off Navy SEALs. So it's pretty cool. I mean, 
I'm glad they didn't call it like the Swiss, you know, or Navy or the Italian Navy, right? Because I don't think that would do very good here in America. Okay. So anyways, that's pretty cool. That, that's another uh, thing that Panerai is doing to release watches to the public that uh, just meeting the demand. Panerai is meeting the demand. And I think that's pretty cool. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about the strap. The strap is coming on this rubber strap and I can show you the backside. If you look at the backside here again, you can see there's two, there's two holes where the, uh, this, if you use the tool that they gave you, you can do a quick release. You press the hole, you push the pin, the, the buckle comes off, uh, the strap comes off. You do need a tool, but you could also just use a toothpick. Uh, that would work too. And it allows you to change the strap. Now it does come on this rubber strap. I think that's pretty obvious because it's for the Navy SEALs. Presumably you would be diving or doing something, you know, uh, related to water or you just get it dirty. So it's rubber, but of course you can, um, spice it up a bit by changing the strap to a canvas. There's tons of, uh, straps that you can buy on Panerai.com. The size is, um, is 24 millimeters by 22. That means the lug width is 24 and then by the buckle area is 22 millimeters. So it tapers down just a little bit. And uh, 24, just to let you know, is pretty big, but this is kind of a big watch. It's a masculine watch. So it makes sense that the strap is kind of big. Okay. I'm going to get it. You can change that. All right. Now let me try it on. Now I have a 7.5 inch wrist, and which is an average man's wrist. I weigh about 200 pounds. So uh, I'm not a small guy, but I'm not a huge guy either. By at least American standards, that's considered normal. And as you can see, the watch looks great on my wrist. It has a nice profile. It looks flush. It has some special accents, as you see, this orange. And it just looks very cool. And as you see, it's a, it's a masculine watch. Uh, I would say it's definitely a sports watch, not a dress watch. So you would be wearing this with, you know, sporting type attire, you know. And what are my thoughts about it? Well, definitely if you're into, you know, rugged things, then this would be like one of the most rugged uh, submersibles that Panerai makes. They also, as I said, make another one in Carbotech, which is basically like carbon fiber, um, but it's double the price. This one retails for around 10000 And of course, you can buy it at jazztime.com, J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com, which is why we have this watch because someone just bought it. But of course, we can get you another one if you want. If you just simply click on the link in the description below and you can buy it. Now, the Carbotech is another version of it, but it's double the price. It's around 20000 and change. And yeah, it's also nice. But for the price, uh, yeah, I think it's a great watch. And if you'd like to buy it, please go to jazztime.com. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.